All right, YouTube, what's going on? This is Charles here, and uh, I've got a little bit of time. I'll see if I can power through this so you're not waiting too long. <laughs> you know me, I take too long. Anyway, what do we have here? You've seen both of these before. Um, on the left, I've got a leather case containing a monocular. On the right, I have a leather case containing binoculars um, now the one on the left here is made in Germany 1942 on the one on the right the binoculars are actually made in 1948 not 1942 like the case would suggest and you can see here there's a stamp for the monocular on there. Now these were made for the Swedish army. I believe that these cases were made in Germany. However, I cannot verify that, but they look very similar to the ones made in Germany. And since during the war, most of them were made in Germany, I'm, that's my best guess is that they are. What's kind of cool about these is you can remove these shoulder straps. These shoulder straps are adjustable, as you can see, got a buckle, but then you can pop these things off. These things are made the same way with the binoculars. Um, they've got this elastic right here, which considering that these cases are, you know, 79 years old, uh, maybe I should be a little more concerned that uh, the rubber inside of there is just going to degrade and snap. But um, I am looking for alternatives, you know, like a modern optics case to carry the binoculars and maybe the monocular. Although it's a little bit more difficult for this to get something that's padded at the same time. But um, you see, these things are made very well. And they both have a loop for a duty belt or standard belt. So let's see if I can get these things out. At least open this. It's always fun with the one hand. All right. So if you look on the lid, right there you've got, this is a yellow lens cover. And I think that's just to give you, you know, really have all the colors um, pop out. It has two on the binocular. Now there's a snap in there. I gotta pop it. There you go. I popped it. And there you got your two lens covers. Kind of that amber yellow. Um, that one has a snap. This did not. Um, this is stamped by. Um, Henselt. So this was made in Germany in a Carl Zeiss factory. Has a Swedish crown on top of there. And if I can get this monocular out, now we can compare it with the binoculars. I'm going to do it one handed out of the camera. All right. See if I can get these guys out. So, so obviously on both of these I've got the the eyepiece cover for both of these as long as well as a button strap. So in theory you'd snap that onto your uniform button and you have that strap less likely to drop it you've got the same thing uh, here's just a, a neck loop well you can see here the monocular is just half of one binocular so in this case what I have is the left side um, 
Now this actually does have uh, a reticle in there so you can kind of gauge distance and things like that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this to you in the... Of course not. Uh, anyway, you have to believe me. Um, what's great about this monocular is that it was like almost new, almost unused condition. There's hardly anything wrong with this. You can see the stamp. I've got the other stamp. And so this serial number does match the case, which is great. And then you can adjust the focus on here. Now this thing, the only real mar I could see was this little, you know, orange dot here. And I'm not sure if that was on purpose just to show that this thing is decommissioned or something happened. I don't think it was made that way, but possibly. But I wasn't there. You see this thing's in great condition. Got it on eBay. Now these things I bought from Coleman's Military Surplus online. I think they were normally $1.99, but then they had it on sale for $1.49. And then they had a 15% off. So I ended up paying $122.50 on these. Now these are obviously used. You can see the wear and tear. So you can actually see the brass in here. Um, other scratches, you know, stuff's wearing out. Um, good thing is the optics on it are clear. I didn't see any clouding, any haze. Um, the only place where I see, you know, it's kind of not perfect is on these lenses right here. But for the eyepieces, they're great. And I can see through these, so this is still usable. And then, of course, it's got the uh, reticle inside. Now, when I originally got these, I was kind of a little bit upset because they were made in 1948. So they were sold to me as a World War II um, binoculars. Obviously it's not, however, the quality of these is still the same, as I can tell, to the ones the monocular actually made in Germany. And the original, um, owner who started the NIFE, the knife company in, I guess it was in Sweden, Stockholm, Sweden. Um, he was actually from the Czech Republic and uh, where they made Carl Zeiss optics and he, he got there and I don't know, after the war, obviously, and started the company in 1948. I guess it ran till 1977. And he, like 95% of his stuff was made just for the Swedish army. So I did not lodge a complaint with Coleman's. I'm still a little bit miffed about it, but... Um, I mean, the quality is good enough, and I just didn't want to, like spend money to send these things back and then maybe get something back that was worse or didn't work but um you can see here so they've got this you know like leather or maybe it's naga hide but to me it seems like it's leather so these things pretty much match just has that um pebble look on there um i really like these because they're not like super huge I mean, I do have some larger binoculars, and they're just, like, not fun to carry around. Um, so, if I'm going far into the field and I need something, 90% of the time I'm just going to use my binocular. If I think I'm going to look at stuff for extended times, and at one time, then I'll take the binoculars so I don't get a headache. But, um, either way, I think it's a great deal. Um... Sorry, I just dropped that. But, um, now let's take a look here. So, I don't know if you guys have any more, uh,
comments or questions, you want to add some more information for me, that'd be great too. But um, you have a good day. Bye-bye.